not really a big video fan, but I thought it was uh, it, it was interesting just seeing you know Steve Grimmett, who is the only original member left of that band, uh, and, and 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 it just so happens that last night now, for those of you that know me on a personal level, I have difficulty sleeping, and sometimes I'll wake up at two three in the morning, and I'll just be awake for no apparent reason whatsoever, and so I had recorded this show um, on I think it's MTV Live or. It's one of the new MTV channels where they do like – it's called Metal Mayhem. And so I had recorded like this hour's worth of rock videos or metal videos, and they were actually showing Fear No Evil by Grim Reaper. And so like at 3 in the morning this comes on, I'm like, hell yes, this is great. <laughs> you know? So um, it is so bad. It's so cheesy, yet it's so deliciously good at the same time. And if you if you're a fan of early '80s cheese metal or you know middle '80s whatever, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like you look at it back now, you look back on it now, and you go, "Oh my god, that's so bad! How did we look like that? How did we do that?" But yet, there's a fondness to it that goes with it. Um, so I just brought that up just to bring it up, just to say I'm looking forward to it. It's 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 brought back the 15 year old in me. Um, and it's just one of those, you know, if you're really into that new wave of British heavy metal kind of sound from that early to mid 80s, it's a band you should check out if you're, you know, if you're younger, if you're under 35 and you have no idea who the hell these guys are. Um, definitely check out Grim Reaper. Um, it, it's one of those bands that you should at least know who they are historically. And, and that's I will all tell about. you. No, and I, I am older than 35. No, not by much, and I'd be lying to you if I told you that I was hip to my um, knowledge of or even familiarity with Grim Reaper. I've heard of them. I've heard a couple songs of theirs, but kind of in passing. Like, I've never gotten into them. Um, Now, there's no UFO. uh, I just want to point that out for your Eddie Trump fans. (laughs) No, but, I mean, who who really could be? Let's be honest. Right. but uh, one quick news item that I have, I know, Biv, you usually handle the news, but I find this interesting. We've talked about this before in a couple episodes, and just I find it funny to mention for a couple of reasons. First of all, and somehow Gene Simmons ends up in our news topics quite a bit. Um, well, Kiss period does. I well, don't know Kiss how. period does, but Gene Simmons certainly does. And I will say this, and this I find this interesting, and I absolutely 100% agree with. In fact, last time we talked Gene Simmons, we talked about him in uh, – Talking about bands getting political, correct? We did. And we agreed with Gene. We're like, Gene, you're right. You you can say what you want, but just know what comes with that, you know? Um, and same can easily be said um, for um, what happened uh, just uh, this past week in which uh, it had gotten out that the, the 2017 nominees for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame have been announced, and Tupac is one of the people who's been essentially nominated or eligible to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And, of course, Gene Simmons is like, hey, I don't want to be the asshole here, but I guess I will be. Um, Tupac isn't rock and roll. I don't know if you guys knew that. Um, And it just doesn't make any sense to me how the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame continues. And it's not, in fairness to Tupac, they've done this with other artists before, too, where you're like, that's not rock. What the hell's the point of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Why don't we just call it the Music Hall of Fame, then? You know what I mean? Like, if it's a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, call it the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Because I'm guessing if there were a Hip Hop Hall of Fame, you wouldn't have the, you wouldn't have a Slayer in there. You know what I mean? Uh, even though, you know, uh, uh, Kerry King wrote, you know, guitar for, uh, um, you know, Fight for Your Right to Party and No Sleep Till Brooklyn. I guess that means Slayer needs to be in the frickin' rock and roll or the rap hall of fame. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Maybe Anthrax should be in there because of Bring the Noise with Public Enemy. It's stupid. Like, if it's the rock and roll hall of fame, it's the frickin' rock and roll hall of fame. So I hate to say this because I think for the most part he's a penis, but Gene Simmons is exactly right here. But I figured it'd be interesting to share that with you because I'd love to get your opinion on that. And then also, let me list the entire list of new nominees for the that was my Hall next. Of Fame in that was my next statement. Is is I don't want to stop there because because while I agree with you and I agree with Gene that Tupac has no business being in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Let's actually can we review? Do you mind? Yeah. Can we review? 
the nominees, the right. other nominees. Let's go. Can we go through them one by one? Do you mind? No, it's fine. Actually, the, here, we're on the same page here because I was going to say I'm going to mention their name and you say yes or no. Okay, that's simple. Bad okay. brains. Now I'm going to I'm going to take I'm going to take out of this whether I like them or don't like them. Correct. I'm going to take what I'm going to put into this is historical perspective. And did they did, were they just like you would a sports hall of fame? Were they at the absolute pinnacle of their game where you could list them and say these are one of the top three to five acts? ever in that particular moment in time right. in rock and roll music. And on top of that, I also look at, you know, speaking of that, do they, the way I've looked at the Hall of Fame for sports is if you were to tell your son or daughter the story of baseball or the story of football, right. would they be in that story? Because if the answer is yes, then you put them on the Hall of Fame. And, and I almost think no, rock and roll. It doesn't matter, yeah. And I think rock and roll is the same way. You know what I mean? Like, right. even if they're not the most popular commercial band of all time, did their presence in music have a tremendous influence? And even if it's one album. Correct. So, I mean, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that I think they need to be, you know, this multi-platinum, you know, artist to have an impact. But either way. So, with that said, okay. let's, let's go with Yeah, go, go ahead. Go through it. Let's, let's do this. Okay. Bad Brains. No. I agree. Depeche Mode. No. I mean, at least at least they play music. At least they they yes. actually play an instrument. But I, I mean, personally, I don't like Depeche Mode at all. But you'd be lying. And they're if not you rock; said, they're pop. Correct. But you'd be lying if you didn't say they had a pretty big impact. Um, they did, and that's the only that reason would, why. Wouldn't that be more the New Wave Hall of Fame or the British? Well, right, it, and that's the issue. Um. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, ELO, okay. Electric Light Orchestra. Ugh. Ooh, the now this is a tough orchestra. one. I'm going to say yes, and I'm, here's why. And here's why. Because they put such an influence. Yes, they did. On keyboards and prog rock that later turned to the influence for prog metal that they will never, ever, ever get the credit for they deserve. I agree with you, and I am not an ELO fan, even though I respect them, but they had they had a mark specifically on rock and roll, sir, without a doubt, especially in the 70s. So I would agree with that. Uh, Jane's Addiction. No. No, absolutely not. Uh, Joan Baez. Fuck off. No. Journey. Yes. I agree. Pearl Jam. You know, they say if you have to think about it, the answer is no. And I, I, I would I would seriously have to put thought into this, so I guess based on that, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no as well. Uh, Steppenwolf. No. No. And, of course, Tupac Shakur. No. Oh, fuck off. No. So I have of that, I could name two that I'd be cool with, ELO and Journey. And I agree with the same two. Okay. Now, here are some other nominees that are back on the list, though. So the ones we just mentioned were the new ones. Here are some ones that are still eligible who have not been voted in. You ready? Okay. Shaka Khan. Whatever. <laughs> really? Are we even having this conversation? I swear to God. Janet Jackson. No. I don't know, though. Here's the answer. The answer is no, because she shouldn't be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Well, that's, that's my answer. Right, but... It, it, by their standards, I don't know. It's I'm not going by their standards. Yeah, I'm going true, by yeah, because fuck you it. can't you can't deny that Janet Jackson's been incredibly no 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 no. I'm not. She is an incredible musician. Right. Had you know, Rhythm Nation eighteen fourteen was great. There were many great albums and tours on her in her lifetime. But this is not the R and B Hall of Fame or or the Pop Hall of Fame. You wouldn't put Michael Jackson. I wouldn't put Michael Jackson. In the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, although he may be there, I don't even know. Uh, no, I don't. No, he wouldn't be eligible. He was okay, still well, releasing stuff relatively recently. Um, well, I thought maybe they would do. Yeah, post- yeah, but, but posthumously what put him in. Yeah, but but you know that being the case, I just um, based on that, this is this is not like you said. It's not the Music Hall of Fame, right? All right, it's a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Jay Giles Band. No. No. Joe Tex. <laughs> no. Kraftwerk. God, no. MC5. No. The Cars. 
I, I'm going to go back again. I have to think about it, and so I'm going to say no. But the only reason I would say yes to them, and you may not know this, and most people don't know this, and I'm barely old enough to remember this. Before they hit it big in the early 80s with um, you know, top 40 material, they actually were more of a punk rock type band. Sure they were. That were very influential in the late 70s. I would vote yes to the cars. See, and, and I can see your argument for it. So I'm not yeah. going to say it's a bad vote. I'm just going to say I wouldn't be my vote. Yeah, the zombies. No, oh, God, no. And this is a tough one for me. Yes. Well, again, I'm going to go back to the same argument I made with the Yellow, and I'd make the same argument with Kansas or Six. Correct. Those, those were four bands, in my opinion, that shaped the sound of the 1970s progressive rock era. Yep. That led that led to bands such as Rush and um, uh, Queensrÿche, and eventually Dream Theater. Yep. I mean, if you can't if you can't listen to those bands and not hear Dream Theater fifteen twenty years later, I can't help you. Yeah, especially yes. Yes, I agree yeah, with that. So I would again, incredibly successful. Mm, yes and no. I mean, people know who they are, but they're not like legends. But if you try to deny their impact on music, you're you're insane. So well, they're better than brain works or yeah, whatever the hell. It was. So I would say of all of the ones I'd listed, and we're pretty close here. I got ELO, I got Journey, I got the Cars, and I have Yes. I'd go with three of the four of those on you, and and even the fourth one, I can't argue with too much. Yeah. So. There you go. There's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And once again, Gene Simmons, you figure out a way to get into our news segment every single week. But for good reason, because in this instance, just like you were last time, you're right, dude. Tupac. And you're not being a penis. No, and you're not being a penis. Tupac has no business being in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Stop it. I mean, I know it's a joke, and I know we like to talk about it because it's interesting, but it's become a joke. And when you have the, you know, R&B artists and rap you know, NWA was inducted last year. What are you doing? Stop. It's hurting in there. <laughs> it's just bad. Anyway, that's news. Oh, hey, Biv, by the way. Yeah. Are you ready for some Triple B action? You know that I am. All right. It's Biv's Best Band you never heard of. Let's find out who it is. Let's go. Biv's Best, Best Band you've never heard of. All right, and it's about that time. Every installment of the Accordion Mental Podcast, we find out the best band that Biv's come across that we haven't heard of yet. So without any further ado, Biv, what is this installment of the Accordion Mental Podcast best band we've never heard of? You know, on the last episode, as we kind of talked about a few minutes ago, because of the review extravaganza where we reviewed, um, I don't know, eight or nine CDs, we didn't get a chance for the first time ever we did not do Triple B, which one of the biggest reasons for for even doing the show to begin with was Triple B, was to discover those bands that otherwise, I mean, let's face it, one of the biggest thrills in our life, in our metal life, is to find a band that your buddies don't know about, right? And to to find it and to expose them to be like, dude, you got to check these guys out. And that's that's a big thrill for me. Um, and not only to expose other people to them, but to jam out to something you don't find at Walmart. And for me, that, you know, that thrill is something I have to seek all the time. And not too long ago, um, a matter of fact, it was as we were preparing for the um, review extravaganza show, I came across this band. And I could not believe, based on the craftsmanship of the songs and how well they're played and just the overall mus- musicianship, I could not believe that I would not heard of them. And not only have I not heard of them, I know you haven't heard of them. And how do I know that? Well, because like their, their biggest song on uh, Spotify has like a thousand listens. That's how I know. Hmm. That's how I know you're not paying attention either. Well, and you may it, be surprised, but let's see. Who is it? Well, okay, but the band is called Meridian, and they're a Danish hard rock heavy metal band that is uh, phenomenal, very similar to Hollow. 